Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. The tapes are available. The records are there. In fact, only about two weeks ago, I saw a set of the records again. The transcripts are available. But we talked about the Nigerian situation. And certainly, at the end, everybody says, oh, you tell them this, you did that. The fact was that our case was so clear that I actually, I actually believe at the end of Aburi that the problem was not the one, but probably some ambassadors in Lagos who were uh, pressing for something else. Because we understood each other, we agreed on every single point. The drafting was, in fact, my chief secretary with two other chief secretaries from the other side, they said, no, 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 and drafted and agreed, we looked at it, we agreed. General Ankara read over the whole uh, report again to us at the end, asked us if we wanted to amend anything, no. At the end of all that, the position was so good that actually Ankara drove Jack, the one, and myself to the airport. Jack was sitting on his left, I was sitting on his right. He was in the middle. And in the course of that journey, at, at a point, General Ankara shook his head. I said, oh, thank you. Thank you. If only we can go on like this, everything would be all right. I believe I was the one. As I do now from time to time, I go for the dramatic. Suddenly I picked up Gawan's hand, put it on Ankara's lap, brought my other hand, placed it on it, and I said, General Sir, hold us together, I want to say something. So General Ankara put his hand on top of the two hands, and I said, General, I want to assure you that I am totally satisfied with everything we said. I will even go further and say to you something I did not say at the conference, and that is that once we have implemented everything we have said, I would ask you for one favor and one favor only. And that would be to be the one to propose Jack Gawan as a head of state of Nigeria. It was a two-day conference of peers and old mates, but its aftermath produced even further controversy. When we came, uh, came back and Ojuku did not go to make the statement he made first, virtually giving the impression that we've uh, agreed for a confederation to uh, move apart, etc., uh, which was really not uh, in exactly that. Uh, if I had had the, uh, uh, the, the, the opportunity to make my broadcast in the first, because that was the agreement, not for him to make the, uh, the uh, broadcast first, then if I had committed myself to what he said, then there, there wouldn't have been any problem. But uh, he went and said certain things that certainly looked uh, wrong, and therefore we saw in practically everything he did 
I think it was uh, for uh, to uh, play up uh, in, uh, to uh, the, the gallery, not being sincere. At Aburi, yes, we agreed on um, area commands for the armed forces. At Aburi, we agreed that the police force would be decentralized. We agreed on those. Yes. We agreed even to show that we didn't separate at Aburi, we also agreed on a certain revenue formula. That's what happened at Aburi. Aburi again, because I always end up, this sounds odd today, but I always end up by saying I must have been naive because I believed actually that that would be the end. I'll confess to you, when I got back to Enugu, oh yes, I had it, I mean, I had a party believing that probably the danger was over. That's what we thought. Until they then began to deny everything. It was the denial of Nigeria that made me publish the tapes of Aburi because we had insisted that each one should have a set of tapes. Everybody talks about confederation. Go and look at the transcript. There is no time that the word confederation came from my lips. In broad terms, Aburi changed the title of head of state from supreme military commander to commander in chief. It gave the regions control over internal affairs and concurrence of each region was now required for any decision affecting the whole. So guys, I found many that have watched this video with open mind and with keen interest. You know, you need to be objective. And you will agree with me that what we are experiencing today is uh, the effect of what has happened before now. And there is still a lot of betrayal, there is still a lot of distrust, there is still a lot of selfishness, greed, you know, name it. And that's why we are not making progress, we are not moving forward. And that's why some people have called out on uh, Gowan to speak on what he knows, on what happened, on the role he played. We know a lot of people play some roles, even on Bassanjo too, but it's like everybody just playing political correctness, I don't want to say some things, if you say anything, it seems you know, it means that you are uh, being you are being uh, divisive. You want to divide the country. Anybody that wants to say the truth, oh, you want to divide the country. Now that they have brought back the history, you know, to the uh, Nigerian curriculum, to our educational curriculum, I think it's it will go a long way. If people who are even going to be teaching it, if you are really, if they are really in depth of what really happened, because I know that there's a kind of disjointed uh, truth, you know, along the line. Because if people really know what happened in the past, they will be able to, you know, put one or two things together. Not people saying some things out of sentiment, out of uh, ignorance or out of hatred. It will not even help us. And I think that uh, the fallacy and the, the, the force which is really going on now is making things not to work well. You will hear some people, oh, presidency must come to this zone. Presidency must go to the other zone. And all of that, there is this uh division there is this hatred there's this distrust among our political leaders and majority of them who are still alive now they experience they don't know what happened you know during that period that's 1967 to 1970 but a lot of them are keeping quiet a lot of them don't want to say much that depends on them the reason why they don't want to say a lot of things because even the youth of these days majority of the youth of these days or the people of these days you know they have a the story or the history you know not articulated they are being disjointed from one stage to another and everybody will just speak okay i'll just try to rationalize the whole thing okay this is the way i understand it this is not the way i understand it but from this video you'll be able to pinpoint some of the points some of the things that really happened you could hear from ojuku you could see here from a, a gohan it's like this this kind of a blame game you know you did this i didn't do this this was what was promised this was not what was not promised you know you ought not to have done this you know there's this a uh, counter accusation 
uh, you know, among these uh, two people from that video, you'll be able to know that what actually is really happening. So, guys, I would like to hear from you what you think about this whole thing. Let's be uh, objective. Let's have an open mind so that, you know, every other person can really learn. We should be out of all these uh, sentiments or whatever. So, guys, leave your comments and let's learn from you. Thank you very much. Bye.